the first thing we need to do is check that our wing is all under the same node. Um, so now that I now that we know it is, I'm gonna open up my timeline, and right now I only have 60 frames for this animation. Then I'm gonna select my wing, and under Curve Editor, I'm gonna select the channels I want to key, and then in the bottom left, I'm gonna select Key Selected Channels, and then I'm gonna move my frames to the to 60. And I'm gonna I'm gonna move my wing to the position I want I want it to in the end of the animation. I'm also gonna rotate it, um, move it all along its uh, uh, y-axis. And once I'm happy with its position, I'm gonna go back and, and hit key selected channels. So now I just made a very simple linear animation. It's just going from one point to the other. But I don't want that. I want more acceleration. So I'm gonna get all these points and I'm gonna click on flat tangent. And what this did is it gave my animation a bit of a, an acceleration. Uh, so it doesn't just go directly to the other spot, it slowly speeds up, which is a very subtle difference. But if you look at it from here, you could tell that the one on the left looks more real.